Hi, my name is Adam. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is walk through neighborhoods, through the woods, through parks, and on mountains. I like to walk. So join me, and together we'll take a step to see the world. I wanted to focus the damn thing, not turn it on me. Welcome to another edition of Walking with Adam. The abandoned stuff. I am walking uh, through the perimeter of, uh, this used to be, what, Reedville, Oregon, between Aloha and Hillsborough. Look at this guy, he's pretty cool. Yeah. A little bit of entertainment while I'm heading towards the guy. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm walking today towards uh, another abandoned location. Now the abandoned location I'm going to had been there for had been an open running business for close to 60 years. It was a bait and tackle shop. They also sold uh, and repaired boats and actually housed boats also for people who weren't close to the water. <laughs> we've got some you know, we've got some bodies of water around but not actually on the water right here. But uh, going to the old Harvey Marines. Um, now the thing that stands out about the Harvey Marines is this giant statue of Harvey the Robin. And uh, that statue had been a lot of different things throughout the years. Um, it had always been Harvey. He lost an ear at one point. He lost his head at one point. Both of those things were replaced. Um, the CIA or the uh, FBI had used it as a meetup point at different times when running investigations in the area. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Also a uh, focal point for drug runners and stuff. Of course, that's not so cool, but... The reason it was a focal point is because it stands right next to the road. Even though we're not there yet, when it comes into sight, it's hard to miss. Of course, if you're watching this on mobile, you might miss it. <laughs> and even I know where it is, I'm not seeing it yet. Because uh, even though Harvey Marines is closed down, little shops around it have popped up there's been different things around here over the years there was a Christmas tree lot which made national attention because the Christmas tree lot attendant actually got um, beat up and maimed really badly by a group of kids uh, I don't remember I think he died from it I think I don't think he made it but uh, that was long time ago now, but still, don't beat up people at Christmas tree lots, okay? It's not cool. So this red building in the distance, right there, is where I'm headed. Now you can see, there is a statue there, beside the building, or in front of the building. Can see around these uh, telephone poles. As we get closer, it'll become more obvious. And because this chain link fence, this used to be like a boat storage area. Here. I don't think it was all a boat storage area. There were some buildings that are gone now. 
Um, and the reason that I believe uh, Harvey Marines actually closed about two years ago, after almost 60 years of being open, was because right back here, where all these trees are, they are building a huge subdivision. They want like 30,000 plus homes in it. They want to build a few schools in it. They want to build 15 miles of uh, walking trails, which will blow my mind because that's not, I don't know how they're gonna stuff 15 miles into there with 30,000 homes. They wanted to put a few shopping malls and I think, uh, did I, they did want to put a few schools. I know they've already said that. But that was before all this COVID-19 stuff. They're still building. It's going to take years and years to fill up the uh, area inside there. But boy, oh boy. It's really sad to see that part of the uh, community being developed. Because it was been there like an old, big open field all my life. So, in fact, my first apartment um, was on the third story of an apartment complex overlooking that field. And uh, it was beautiful just looking at it every morning, even though the apartment was shit. So we're getting closer. And you can see yeah, I'm not going to be able to get around this place. It's chain link. Thanks, it's too big. That's too bad. But uh, yeah, you can see Harvey standing there with his hand outstretched and smiling at the traffic as it goes by. Now, in his hand, um, during different times of the year, they would put different things in his hand. They'd be like a Christmas tree or a pumpkin. Um, during like sports playoffs, I know he uh, sometimes they, he'd be holding balls. <laughs> Not my balls. Um, so yeah, festive. And that stuff would always go in his hand overnight. And it was like supposed to be some big mystery. Who's putting it there? Well, duh, it's the people who own the place. <laughs> not, not much of a mystery. So Harvey's Boat Works used to repair boats. I'm, I'm happy to see that there's some trucks here. And uh, I was racking my mind. I seriously thought I recently saw a few boats in this lot, but that's that might just be storage. It was a nice locally owned company. Um, they did good work on things. I can't see through these windows at all or I'd show you. They are very dusty. They actually look like they were painted all over inside. That's too bad. But yeah, there used to be it says store entrance because it used to be a nice bait and tackle shop um, for fishermen. You know, because fishing and, and hunting in Oregon used to be bigger than it is now. Almost as big as Harvey himself. Yeah, so there were times when his head fell off during windstorms or an ear fell off during windstorms. And when I was a kid, I would stand like here, and I, boy, he seemed huge. Of course, I was a lot smaller back then. He's still as big, but I used to think he was like 100 feet tall or something. He's not 100 feet tall, but he's big enough Big enough to uh, blot out the sun if you're standing in the right place. And here's the uh, old tackle shop here. I like that it still says store entrance. It also says private property, no trespassing. So, 
I see there's a burglar alarm. That's great. Yeah. Got some Harvey Marine uh, graphics up here. Harvey on his boat. And the old sign. Old signage. Now, when I was younger, that chain link fence didn't exist. And you could walk right around the building to the railroad tracks back there. Uh, not so much anymore. Just fine. Traffic's getting louder. I don't want to accidentally be, you know, hit by a train. You think it doesn't happen, but it can get close without ringing that horn. <laughs> and if you're concentrated on something, it's easy to uh, miss the train sounds. That door looks like it just pops right open. Look at this. That seriously looks like you just push it right open. Not going to do it. No parking over here, but there is a Black Rock coffee, which I was recently impressed with the size of their Frappuccinos, although I didn't like the price, but it was okay. I got a Bananas Foster Frappuccino, and it would have been really, really good if it didn't taste so much like banana coffee. But that's my own fault. Hey, look, the traffic's died down. You can actually hear me now. God damn it. <laughs> anyway. Harvey Marine. In the sun. So, I understand with the development of the area, they were thinking of maybe tearing this building down, but there was a vote on whether to keep Harvey or not. And Harvey won. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. He's a historical statue in this neck of the woods of Portland, Oregon. And I'm happy to bring him to you now. Hello, Harvey. Jeez. That sun is brutally bright. Oh my god. It's like some big fireball right there in the sky. Good memories of this place. I rarely went into it, but you know, that statue and this building, this building used to be blue, but the statue and building were just always here. I'm happy to see they're still here for a little while longer. And, uh, but the place is abandoned. Although, the truck right around the side here suggests that maybe it's not. And all the no trespassing signs suggest the same thing. Um, yeah, there's got, there's still some, some stuff happening in here. I don't know what they are, but they're still happening. But that's Harvey Marine.